hi guys and welcome back to my channel okay so today we're going to be talking about buttercream if it's american buttercream swiss marine buttercream you know german buttercream whatever kind of buttercream you use basically begin to be talking about that today and i'm going to be giving you five guidelines on how to use buttercream especially if you're a cake maker okay so first things first yeah please give me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to this channel thank you because i really work hard on these videos thank you guys okay so number one you want to make sure your butter is at room temperature whatever kind of buttercream you're making make sure your butter is at room temperature and that is because it is at a texture where it can be easy to work with and you can easily incorporate into other ingredients so room temperature butter is always best for you if you're making buttercream whatever kind of buttercream you're making so for you to know it's at room temperature make sure you press your finger on it and if it dips a little bit if it doesn't dip at all it's still a little bit hard so put in the microwave for a few seconds but if it dips like you can see your imprint of your finger in it then it is at room temperature and it is good to go so room temperature butter is awesome okay so number two you want to make sure you buy good quality butter yes <laughs> good quality butter is expensive it is not cheap if you're a cake decorator you understand what i'm saying one of the most expensive ingredients you use in baking and decorating cakes is butter because they are so expensive for you to get the good ones and basically what you put in is what you get if you use a regular not so good butter that is what your buttercream is going to taste like so sometimes when you go to the store and you see a butter that is ten dollars and that one that is twelve dollars usually that twelve dollars like the extra two dollars you can taste it in your butter cream if you buy that so try not to be cheap on butter because it will come back to bite you in the butt <laughs> okay so number three we're going to be talking about flavoring butter creams regardless of what butter cream you're trying to flavor it's important for you to know how to flavor them and you can flavor butter cream with all sorts of things basically because you're very versatile some people use just basic extracts yeah maybe vanilla extract or anything but some people use maybe curds like fruit curds lemon curds and the likes and maybe jam you can use jams yeah i use jams a lot because those are easier for me and like i don't have to do any extra work because i just buy the jam straight out of the jar and then you can also use chocolate white chocolate dark chocolate any kind of chocolate you want but what you want to remember is whatever you're adding to your buttercream especially if you're using jam or curds or chocolate you want to make sure so that thing is at least half at most sorry at most half of the weight of the butter you're using otherwise your buttercream is going to cuddle and you don't want cuddled buttercream for example if you're going to be using maybe 200 grams of butter and then you want to flavor it raspberry and you want to be using and you want to use raspberry jam you should make sure at least at most the raspberry jam is at most 100 grams of you know raspberry jam otherwise when you make your buttercream and when you stir it it is going to cuddle and basically you know how frustrating that is you can't do anything with already cuddled buttercream so you're welcome okay so number four <laughs> we're going to be talking about storage yes so for me if i make when i make buttercream i make them in large batches because i make swiss marine buttercream and they're not so fast to make they're very labor intensive and it takes a while so i like to make it in a big batch and then store it so if you're going to be making buttercream especially if you're not going to be using it immediately you want to make sure you store them in the fridge and you want to like make sure you store them in containers that you can cover like you can buy these plastic containers they sell in stores and like buy several of them and just fill the fill the containers and put them in the fridge and cover them the reason why you want to make sure you cover them you buy containers that have actual covers is because sometimes buttercream can take the smell of whatever is in your fridge for example for a home baker you might have other things in your fridge like meat like you know like stews sorry so you don't want your buttercream to take the smell of that you want it to take the smell of whatever extract or whatever flavoring you're using <laughs> i hope that makes sense okay so guys if you've watched this point please give me a thumbs up please i'm begging for a thumbs up yes please give me a thumbs up thank you <laughs> okay so the last and final tip is mostly is my favorite and it is mostly for cake eaters not just for cake decorators yeah you want to have you ever had a client that told you that okay the cake was hard especially if it's a buttercream cake of course it was hard you just took it out of the fridge it's been there for like three days and then you cut it 
of course if you put something in the fridge especially if that thing is butter based it is going to firm up because that is just the characteristic of butter it will firm up so you want to make sure you eat your cake at room temperature and you serve it at room temperature otherwise it will be hard and when you send me a message that it is hard i'm going to be looking at you with my side eye so make sure to tell your customers to eat their cake at room temperature or like microwave it for a little bit like two seconds three seconds just to get it to that point they want so guys follow me on instagram as double underscore cake me away and as well as on youtube subscribe to this channel because i have so much content for you guys here thank you and i'll see you next time